right, so I uh, yesterday I, I put a, a community post uh, on YouTube asking for some questions because we recently reached 200k, you know. I didn't have anything planned, but I thought I haven't done these in a while, so I thought I, I might as well get some questions in. Maybe some new people that haven't been around for a while have some stuff to ask, so uh, yeah. We're going to be playing some PvP in the background because I thought I might as well get my, uh, my wins in. Wait, I okay. My wins... In uh, for champ one this week, I haven't got it yet, so I might as well just play. I'm gonna play with Shin, but we're gonna be uh, scrolling through these questions and just uh, going through them. I I, uh, I did not pick any questions. I'm just gonna go to the top ones and just answer basically all of them, uh, unless it's a question like what's your address or something like. Yeah, they're not gonna answer that. But yeah, so I put I did put uh, a very uh, <laughs> very uh, interesting picture here to call for some attention of whoever does end up seeing it, uh, so that we can get as many people um, on it. So, uh, first question, and we're gonna get for sort by top comments. Let me lower the game volume. Sort by top comments. Uh, first question, any chance we see you go against speed in a random battle again? I'd love to see how crazy it gets with how many units are in the game now. Okay, listen, you're gonna have to ask that to Speedy, alright? It's not on me. Because here's the thing about me, right? I have been putting work on my account for a while now. I wanted to get 10 million box CC and I did. Speedy still doesn't have 8 million box CC. I begged him, Speedy, please, please. I was on my knees, I, I promise. Speedy, please go to 8 million box CC before I get to 10 million so that we can record a random battle. It was like a very dead month just like it is right now <laughs> like it was a very dead month for content i was like speedy it's easy 100k views for me please speedy please i need those views and speedy was like okay i'll get you a million and guess what he never did he never did he joined one of the highest level guilds on jp and he still didn't get trade to million box cc he got in there because of clout and not because of his box and <laughs> Am I salty? I'm not in the, the, one of the biggest guilds, maybe. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's his fault, right? And he doesn't upgrade his units, right? Man still has level 60 units. Level 60? How? I have, I have a billion materials for the raids. I played the game. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. It's on him, all right? When he... Because, right, like... He doesn't have 8 million boxes. See, you have to understand, like, if I go up against him, he can't win. Like, I have 10 million boxes, see, and he has 6. He can't win! Like, th that's his fault, alright? So, <laughs> it's on my, it's on me. Uh, next question. Sorry, that was a little long. Maybe I shouldn't take so long on these questions. It's just about that. It's a, it's a funny thing, alright? Uh, does making content in a single game like Grand Cross become tedious? Is it hard to come up with engaging videos, or does the release catch you help with that? I don't think it's tedious. Um, it's definitely not very hard. You do have in, in the question, is it hard to come up with engaging videos? It's definitely not hard. And uh, I do attribute that to um, how much content there is. Like, as we, when you think of like gaming creators, right? You see, you know, like if you play like, I don't know, a game like Warzone, like you, you can't really expect to have new, fresh content every time. Or maybe I shouldn't put the question blocking like that. Okay, you're not gonna see my damage on the video. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You've seen PvP. You know how it, how it works. <laughs> uh, you know, a game like Grand Cross. As much as we say, oh, it's a dead month, they still are releasing stuff almost every week, right? So it does become easy. It's not tedious for me. I, I think uh, it's just. I've been always the type of gamer who plays, like, the same game for, like, years. Like, I have 4,000 hours on Destiny 1. And then, like, right, recently we got Elden Ring, right? And I literally didn't play- didn't do anything else. I, I- I, you know, recorded what I had to record for Grand Cross, but, like, I just played Elden Ring all day. And then I finished the game and I was like, okay, let me finish the game again, I finish the game again, I finish the game again. Like, I just, I don't know. I just like playing the same game <laughs> over and over again, I guess. Uh, no, it doesn't become tedious. Um, it, it, it is definitely not hard what I do. <laughs> I don't think, for sure. Uh, random PvP was fun. Oh, god damn it, it crops a little bit. 
doesn't have a punish mechanic. It's just kind of fun to watch. So you'd love to see more of those. Yeah, I, I always think I should I should record the the random PvP again. I didn't record those for a while because I wanted to get uh, all my characters level 90 and then do it. And then when I got all my characters level 90, I just didn't do it. I actually, I have no specific reason why I stopped doing those videos. I mean, the, the punishing thing is like, it got to the point where like the, <laughs> I would ask, oh, what should the punishment be next? And like everyone, it was all the fault of that shitty uh, made thing. Every, every comment be like, oh, use like a Joker mask for a year. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I like, it'd be like, um, do this for a month. It's like, no, I'm not gonna. It has to be like something simple for a video. It's just, you know, it's just like the 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 punishments became a little too much. I mean, I, I'll do it probably. Those videos get really good uh, views, so it, it's it's not like I'm avoiding them because I don't think they will do do bad. They definitely will do very well. Can my Lilia kill this? Uh, no, she definitely can't. Goddamn, Bon. It's been, it's been a hundred years. And bon is still paying the ass. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm drinking. I'm drinking off the cup that you physically can't buy because you ran out of stock on the same day. Um, waifu candy. I have not drank waifu candy in like weeks. Then I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers. He has his podcast, and he was drinking waifu candy. And he said this. That are you about half full? You're doing kind of three guy? scoops of that you're shit. Four. You're doing four scoops. Jesus Christ. You're gonna have like heart palpitations Listen with that much caffeine. This is not caffeine. This is waifu candy. Waifu candy. What's he saying? Well, don't say what brand it is. They don't sponsor us. Yet. Who knows? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I, I thought it was funny because he's definitely he's not like it's been months since that podcast and he's still not sponsored by gamer subs like I am. I, I mean, like he has like. I don't even know how many, how many million subscribers. Why doesn't he just email them? They're so chill. In any case. Um, if Namarbo gave you the right to choose the next collab and you use the banner, who would you choose? I, I'm not going to go into like skills and passes because that would take too long. But I mean, if I had control over what... God damn it, Ban. Over like what collab would be next. I mean, obviously... I would really want JoJo because my favorite like anime of all time, but it's kind of unrealistic, right? I mean, if I can choose, obviously, I guess it would be JoJo, and I would put like Jotaro. I would put Jotaro, Josuke, Gappy, and and um, and Jonathan uh, probably Jonathan from from part, from part seven. Again, very unrealistic. They would never put Gappy on the. On the collab because Gap is from part eight. But god, he's a good character. He's such a good character. Such a chad. But yeah. Can you bring back some fights speed? God damn it! <laughs> you go you go to Speedy's comment section, alright? And tell him, Speedy! Get your 10 million box AC. You're a goddamn YouTuber, alright? You can't be out here playing with shitty 6 million box CC when you live off the game. You tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> we can maybe record. Uh, it's all Speedy's fault. It's all. Don't think that it's on me. It's all Speedy. Oh god, then I should have attacked. It doesn't matter. It's all Speedy's fault. All right. How many years do you think Grand Cross has left? Uh, considering how much money Grand Cross is making, like maybe four or five years. Like, I was seeing some people saying, like, oh man, the, the revenue for Grand Cross is down. They're only making seven million dollars this month. It's like you got. <laughs> Do you know how little money some gacha games make before they start actually like shutting down? Blazing was making like 300 grand for months before they shut down. Like, <laughs> you, like these games have to be making. Okay, great. I, I actually, I got them bond, bro. I'm trying to make, trying to have fun with Shin Bond. Who's using bond, bro? Move on! I mean, okay. God... <laughs> they're actually making like, I don't know, like, in the six digits before they start like, getting close to shutting down. And again, that Marvel, they have the plan of continuing... Um, with the, uh, the Seven Deadly Sins or the brand. With Origin and stuff, I'm actually about to lose to a Bond. I mean, it is what it is. Fucking Bond. With Origin and stuff, and um... <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, something like that. Um, the game mode and the mechanic, oh, that'll be true. That'll take too long to respawn. I mean, I'll make a game mode where you, you it's like a, a boss rush sort of thing, where like you face like many bosses back to back to back with the same team. I think that'll be fun. You know, it doesn't have to be like as hard as like Demonic Beast Battle, but be like, the more you complete, the more rewards you get, right? And there's no limit. I mean, that if there is no limit, then I guess it would be like <laughs> too hard. But like, it would be cool if there was no limit. And then like, um, it would be like leaderboards, like who completed the most stages. Obviously, there would be cheaters, but then they'll get banned. Um, I don't know, so something like that, like a like a boss rush full of like actually like really hard bosses. Like they they had sort of like a thing going with tower where like the tower oh the tower keeps going it doesn't stop going but like like a thing is like more engaging right like the, the the game mode like actually like you don't actually stop until you die that would be pretty cool and again like the more the more you complete the you keep getting like more and more rewards and there's basically no end that would be pretty cool I think that'd be pretty cool um listen it seems like upcoming games like black cover I mean I I don't know. Um, Demon Slayer is getting a game. Um, I, I, I mean, I'll definitely be making videos on, like, the Black Clover game. I don't know about Jutsu Kaisen. That game looks like it's, it's probably going to be pretty successful in Japan, but not, like, anywhere else. Um, I'm definitely going to be making Black Clover videos. It depends on how good the game is. Like, if the game is good and it gets good views, then I might even, I don't know, if the game is really good and I, keep, I stick with playing it, I might just make videos on like my other channel i don't see why i wouldn't um the other games i'm not sure but the black clover game actually looks exciting i mean the <laughs> the seven deadly sins game i'm obviously gonna make videos on because it's literally like an extension of green cross um but yeah um oh man this is a long question <laughs> Uh, story from being born? I don't remember how it was when I was born. I was like zero. Um, I mean, I can give a brief summary, right? Listen, I was born in a, a hellhole called Brazil. Terrible, I know. It, this is like how, uh, how villain <laughs> origin stories begin. Um, <laughs> and then, um, I mean, I lived my whole life thinking that it was normal to be killed because this is how Brazilians live. <laughs> no joke. This is not a, a joking <laughs> matter. This is this is not just how we live in Brazil. It's like, oh, yeah, it's normal to uh, maybe die when you leave your house. <laughs> this is not normal anywhere else. <laughs> what? Um, and, and then I almost got killed on the streets. This guy pulled up a knife. I mean, this was a knife. It wasn't. I, I. It wasn't even a gun, right? It's more normal to be like robbed with a gun in Brazil, because everyone has guns, even though guns are illegal. And then he was like, "Give me your money," and I was like, "I had twenty bucks." Or I don't. I didn't have twenty bucks. I have. I had twenty reais, which is like two dollars. And I gave to him, and he was like, "God bless you." And just left. Uh, and then my dad was like. I mean, we wanted to move out of the shithole anyway, so we moved. Um, first, we wanted to go to the US, but listen, American people, your country sucks for anyone that wants to move in, all right? Horrible. Why is it so hard? Literally impossible. It's literally impossible. You gotta, you gotta make your life becoming, or your life becomes you moving in for like 15 years. Like, it's terrible. Like, I moved in here to Europe, and it was, like, maybe, like, a month of, like, okay, let's get the documents and stuff. In the U.S., it's, like, 15 years of this. It's terrible. So we didn't go there. Thank God. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, we moved here to Portugal. Because, listen, Portugal has history of Brazil, all right? Listen, they, they are very sorry for, like, slaving us and stuff. You're like, man, I, I know we, we literally, like... Portugal be like, listen, we literally killed so many of you, and God, we forced ourselves so much on you. You can come live here if you want. Super easily. So yeah, the, the, 
if any Brazilian can come live here super easily because of uh, of the history. Um, and then I came here, I, I dropped out of college because of Corona. Um, I mean, because of YouTube, but like Corona allowed me because there, like my college, when I came here, I was, I was 17 when I came here. So I was like in my second year of college. Um, they, they thought Corona was gonna be like a quick thing. So like, oh, there's not gonna be any classes until Corona's done, all right? And by then I had time to actually get my channel going. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, <laughs> I was like, listen, mom, dad, I don't know what to tell you, there's no classes. I gotta stay home and make videos all day. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it is what it is. So I made enough money. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill Bon here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I met, met Arthur. Thank God he actually full healed. Listen, uh, I, I, need to, I need to stay home. And then, um, and then I, I made enough money to leave so that I don't have to do college anymore. I left to Germany. I, 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 um, I moved to Germany so that I can, so that my parents couldn't force me to go to college anymore. Because what are they going to do? Kick me out? I don't live with them anymore. <laughs> so, that was great. Um, so yeah. And then... Um, Germany was cool, but like... We decided that it was better to move back to Portugal. Because Portugal... Listen, I, it's kind of nice here. There's like almost no taxes. <laughs> it's like almost no taxes. And it's like super chill. You know, Portugal's pretty nice. I actually, I, like, my internet here, I pay, like, almost nothing. And it's really good. In Germany, internet sucks. You would think, because Germany is, like, this, like, uh, sophisticated technological country. It's not. Germany does not know anything about technology. Their, their internet for the majority of the country sucks balls. So... Yeah, that, that, was, that was my whole... Goddamn Speedy again! Why is so... Listen... Uh, why is no one asking Speedy that? Alright? It's Speedy's fault! He doesn't work on... He doesn't play the game! Speedy doesn't play Grand Cross! Alright? Tell him to play the game! Tell him to get a, at least 8 million bucks CC! And we can play... He has, he has level 60 units! He has level 60 units on his box. He's a YouTuber. I, I relentlessly mocked him for that, by the way. <laughs> and so this is like, like I'm, I'm saying this now and I've never told him that. I mocked him for having level 60 units and he refused to level them up. So it's... You can't play Red Demon? Red Demon? It takes 10 minutes to get all six raids done. Red Demon! Takes five seconds! Alright. <laughs> oh, this is a long question. Oh my god. Okay. Um, it'd be cool to have a, a training mode, as in... Mode where you can test out some teams... Oh, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Instead of, like, actually committing... There are Bleach Brave Souls or something like that. Where... I've, it's not necessarily that, but, like... Uh, if you go on a banner... You can click to like test the unit on that banner to see if you like how they play. But you know, Bleach Brave Souls is different because like every unit has like so like they they you know their move set is like attacks different. You play Bleach Brave Souls, it makes sense. I'm not gonna explain, but like it's different. So they they like let you like test out the unit before you actually summon. Um, they were pretty cool actually. You can be able to test skills and the training dummy. Um, let's say you want to see how much HP you'd ha get with Bond level 3 blue card. Yeah, I mean, I I'm surprised they haven't done something like this, actually. And, yeah, it would be a pretty good idea. Like, the, um, the freaking, like, the, 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 the one that we have, right? The one that you can, ta like, see the movements, like, s attacks and stuff. When you click on the ultimate, you can check, like, the moves. That's super archaic. Like, you can only see, like, the unit and not, like the unit with like a team and see how much damage the unit does and stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. Um, 
There's, uh, 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 I'm, I'm trying to read. Get into some long questions. Uh, try to. Um, I'm not. Listen, uh, I'm not taking team suggestions. Uh, I already talked about collab. Jojo would be, you know, godly. But if not, you know, if I I want another collab, other than Jojo. I mean, Naruto would be pretty cool. Naruto did a collab with Fortnite. All right, they can do a collab with anyone. They, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. Uh, random, again, talked about it. Make a concept video for Holy Relics from recent characters? No. <laughs> no, I can't. I won't. Uh, I mean, it's just like, you know... Holy Relics are... Sort of like an, an extension of a character at this point. A lot of new characters that come out, they come out with a holy relic to like extend what the unit does. Like looking at Elaine, for example. Elaine was a half made unit, the blue Elaine, and she is complete with the holy relic. Elaine without the holy relic is an incomplete character, and with the holy relic is a complete character. And I feel like they're, go they're going for that. And you know, those are the relics that work a lot. Like Lilia, Blue Lilia, she she released with the intent of having the relic. We got jump on. We don't have to play anymore. And um, I feel like that's what they're going for now, you know. But yeah, I mean, holy relics—they're just so random. It's really difficult to think what what a character would have as a holy relic at this point. Not reading Portuguese, them Brazilians. I think the game is in a decent state. It could be definitely worse. You, you get, listen, you guys are complaining about the game, and you know you have your complaints. The game is it's not perfect. Let's be real. It could be much worse. It could be much worse. If you played Blazing, it could be much worse. Uh, and I think... Um, I think uh, I think we're, we're done. This will be the last question. Would you make Guild Wars content? I would. I mean, if I join like a more competitive guild and it actually plays Guild Wars, I would. But honestly, maybe Guild Wars is better now after some of the changes they made. But when I played Guild Wars for the first time, and I played like for like a few weeks, right? I feel like the game was just shit. It was just boring. Like, why would why would anyone want to watch me play against bots? Like, you know, on PvP you play a lot against a lot of bots, but it's not like. It's like I'm choosing to face bots. It just happens that I match the bot, right? On Guild Wars, it's like, all right, let's go play the bot of the mono red team. It's just like, it's, it's not very fun. And playing the game mode is not very fun. I just really didn't like Guild Wars. But again, they made some changes. Maybe it's good now. I haven't played in a while because again, I'm not in the competitive guild and maybe I should join the competitive guild. I don't know, maybe I should. I don't, I, I never felt the need to, really. I never, missed the rewards for doing so because you know if you're not in a super competitive guild you're not getting the gems for it anyways right really like i don't know but yeah so that's uh that's about it the, i think that that's the end of the good questions because none, none of the other questions have likes me oh this one has eight likes do you think assault metal gates fifth weapon before injury comes out i don't think so i genuinely think they are avoiding assault melee because of the boycott stuff. I genuinely think so. I don't think as ultimately will ever get a fifth weapon. At this point, I don't think so. I don't think we're ever gonna get, get a second Assault Melee either. It's just like, at, at this point, it's so sad because Assault Melee is the hypest character to ever release in the game, but he got, you know, the, he got cocked by the, uh, the weird decision to make him, like, you know, release so quick. I mean, I, I understand what word they were coming from, they, I think they wanted to release Assault Melee first before the one because they knew the one was just way, way better. The one was just way better. And it still is, right? They knew. And, you know, Assault Melee has never been meta in the game. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. He's always been sub meta, but never meta. And, you know, th that's probably what they're going for, but, you know. It is what it is, and I don't think, I, honestly, I don't think so. I think they're trying to scrap Assault Melee out of the game's history so that there's no, you know, correlation anymore. I, I think so. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for comments with likes because that's what I care about. Uh, no, I'm not really worried. Um, the lack of characters they've got to release. Do you know how many more Meliodas they can release? 
Dalkan has 400 Gokus, bro. This is one thing, like, when Grand Cross first was getting a global version, so many people are like, oh man, how are they gonna keep the game afloat? Like, they have, like, no characters in some of the least sins. Like, bro, have you played Dokkan Battle? They have 400 Gokus! I played Dokkan Battle. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's the main character, right? They release the characters over and over and over again. And that's okay. <laughs> that's how the game goes. Uh, they still have a lot of characters to release, too. A lot of versions of characters as well. No, and they they got like the original stuff going on. Um, I think oh oh eleven likes. Do you think the game is so free? No, it's not. It's not. They when they start making more free to play units, the game will be free to play friendly. When they start making coin shop characters again, this shitty coin shop that hasn't been updated for I don't even know how long, the game will be free to play. Friendly. It's not right now. No. No, I cannot call this game for the play friendly. All right, All right. I think oh seven likes. What is your favorite skill in ultimate animation? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's it.